Well, it seems like 343 traded out one problem for another. Because it seems like the issues with Halo Infinite have finally been resolved, but now we have new security type issues with the Master Chief Collection. And as I reported on my community page or on my YouTube channel, if you guys want to catch these posts when they go live, all you gotta do is tap subscribe. It's the best way to find out when these go up. But basically, Halo Infinite's matchmaking is now fixed. If you guys don't know or haven't played Halo Infinite in a while, because I do see your guys in the comments saying like, oh, I haven't touched this game, uninstalled. Why are you still talking about this game, Kevin? It's dead, leave it alone. Yeah, but still Halo and a lot of people still play the game. And I also have to say, if you guys enjoy these type of news and informational videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to cover next when it comes to gaming news and let's get right into those details and basically what's been happening since the fleet com launch that the servers for infinite were bored for the longest time half the people just couldn't find games at all i was finding games no problem but my brother who likes to play halo couldn't find matches at all he said his entire friends list was just people searching in the menu the whole time so this was posted on the halo support page the other day saying the halo infinite team is seeing matchmaking success rates return to normal since yesterday's service change the team will continue to monitor feedback and reports as well if you continue to encounter any errors please submit a ticket that usual stuff but this was like a major issue that was going on like not as bad as back in the day remember when B btb was just un literally unplayable i'm not being facetious here or like exaggeratory or like making things out like literally could not play btb for like a month after the launch of the game as a whole and there were a lot of people just saying like hey just can we just revert back to the old server like right here you see lucid one of the best halo players out there you know, a couple of days ago saying, is it possible to convert the peer to peer until the servers are back up and running? It's almost three weeks straight since the mess of Halo's launch. And, you know, Mint Bliss also said, like, the fact is they can't find the root issue is a bit concerning. And they didn't really seem like they knew what was going on, or really voiced what was going on with Halo Infinite until they just released a fix. So clearly they had an idea of what was going on, but they didn't really communicate that well to the community as a whole. Of course, when you're troubleshooting these kind of things, it's hard to just say like, hey, we're testing this out now. Let's see if it works. You know, it's just kind of like, we're on it. We'll let you know when things are up and running. And well, now things are up and running with Halo Infinite now. It's also kind of funny how after the fleet calm update, they completely borked the servers and matchmaking actually literally made it impossible for people to find games. The previous update, the Anvil operation, also came across a similar issue, but this was Xbox-wide servers that just went down literally as soon as the Anvil update went live, which was just tragic on my end because I was live streaming at the time and I wanted to show you guys the awesome content and I couldn't. I just had to sit back and wait. Bro, literally as the Halo Infinite update goes live, Xbox Live goes down? No way, dude. Bruh, literally can't play. Halo. You dropped this trailer on me, Microsoft. And this is how you repay me. And before we jump into the Master Chief Collection security issues, I want to showcase just some of the information I just recently updated with Halo Infinite, saying that Century Defense has now been added to big team battle playlists and also features the maps of Condemned, Fragmentation, High Power, and Scar. Far teams with three to four players with CSR 1600 plus can now search for matches in ranked. I believe that got bumped up to 1700 now, if I remember correctly. And the Needle Minder Helmet attachment can now be equipped with the Air Assault Helmet again. I'm really happy to see Century Defense being added into the Big Team Battle Playlist because it was clearly a fan favorite mode. People enjoyed it. They kept it around for another two weeks because it was getting so much engagement. It's actually a fun mode. It was a great way, like I talked about in my previous video on the channel here, about how to utilize existing content within Halo Infinite to be able to create a new experience in some degree, right? Like it's nothing wild out there, but it's kind of cool to have like a BTP game that kind of adds in a little bit of a PVE element to it. That's just kind of fun. And trust me, it's way better in the stockpile. How's the Halo Infinite update working for you? Let me know in the comments. And let's get into the next story of the Master Chief Collection security issues. So now with the Master Chief Collection, it seems like the big security issue going on is that hackers have the ability to ban people from on the other team just whenever they want, which is kind of wild, which is kind of funny also to think about. Like remember when Easy Anti-Cheat was then brought over to Halo Infinite? And then we didn't really hear any updates. We saw hacking go crazy for a month or two. That was just like, you couldn't play the game without hackers messing up your game. And now we haven't really heard anything about updates on the back end for Halo Infinite when it comes to hacking, but a lot of the accusations and hacking clips that were prominent everywhere on social media haven't really, have just gone away. I don't really see them anywhere. At least most of my algorithm is just keeping them away from me, which is shame on you algorithms for doing that to me. But the big thing right now is, the hackers in the Master Chief Collection are not able to ban other players from the game. Something needs to be done about this. And Cattle, who is a prominent member within the Halo community here, mostly known for his Twitter posts, kind of show the quick, quick example of him playing Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection, and then, boop, black screen goes out, 
you are banned from the game, just kicked out of it for whatever reason. This is a major security issue that people are able to exploit. And it seems like, you know, this isn't the first time that we saw this. I remember when we saw this with the uh, Apex Legends hack usations and issues that were going on at that time as well. That was a big security issue. And I remember watching a video from Pirate Software here, who is a great content creator. He's a former security engineer, if I remember correctly, with Blizzard or something like that, talking about back when those hack accusation issues were going on. I mean, hack accusations, just straight up hacking that was happening during tournaments of Apex Legends, being able to kick people out of their games. And he was talking about how this could be a very serious issue if a hacker has the ability to kick people out of the game, because that means he'll have access to server level content, meaning that they are able to just mess with anybody within that server, which is a huge security risk when it comes to just the server itself and the security of everything related when it comes to say like, for example, Halo side of things with Halo Infinite and 343, like that could be a major security issue right there. And we recently did get some information from 343 and it kind of confirmed that like, yeah, this actually is going to be a very big issue when it comes to the Master Chief Collection. But also, I'm sure if you're able to hack into it with Master Chief Collection, why not Halo Infinite? They both use Easy anti cheat They're both Microsoft servers, Azure servers. You would think that they might be able to transfer that hackability over to Halo Infinite, which might be the more current game people are playing. But currently, there's actually more people playing the Master Chief Collection than Halo Infinite right now. This was stated here on Reddit from, uh, I believe it was Farn. Yeah, Farn, he's a you know, you took comments quite often here on social media before it comes to anything Halo saying, uh, you know, replying to the saying like, this is crazy, how should 343 allow this kind of thing, should do something about it, but players being kicked out, saying, hey folks, I just wanted to pop in and say that our support and safety team takes these reports seriously and have been actively investigating these as they are reported to them. If, as part of the investigation, it is determined we need some sort of development effort on our end to shore up the future meaning if what they're seeing on screen and the accusation of people banning people just straight out of the games and stuff like that is actually happening that's going to be a heavy lift by 343 to be able to fix that ability for hackers to get into it they're currently looking into it right now there is no end in sight i guess the way the most doom way to say it when it comes to when this something like this could be fixed or even if it is confirmed because just seeing an out of context video clip like that could have been something maybe the cattle was being super toxic in previous games and then like a wave of people banning him hit him and then mid game gets kicked out could have been an external thing but i highly doubt that i feel like this actually is a legitimate issue as we've seen it in other games like i showcased earlier with apex legends definitely could be the case with master chief collection as we did see hacking happen a lot once easy anti-cheat came into halo infinite so this is currently an ongoing story there's a current investigation going on when it comes to master chief collection and the ability for people to hack into servers like this to figure out what's really going on of course once we get some more information on it i'll share it with you guys here on the channel uh, i haven't heard any news or information about this being potentially negative to you right like your information could be hacked or stolen or anything like that it sounds like it's more like people would be able to troll and be have access to the servers but i'm not quite sure exactly the level of access people have with people within that server say hypothetically you can access their microsoft account which might have their credit card information which then you know what hackers like to do after getting to that information right there i'm not sure if that's even possible i would still say it's rather safe to play the master chief collection right now this might be a more high-end gameplay issue as well Again, we just kind of look more into it. It's currently investigated right now. This is kind of more like speculation and things to keep in mind and aware of when playing. If you just don't want to mess with it at all, just don't play Master Chief Collection until things are obviously fixed. And I'll definitely let you guys know here on the channel when something like that happens. If you guys like these type of videos, like and subscribe is always really appreciated. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you guys missed anything from me recently, check out this video right here. If you miss any content and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.